welcome back to the new video of our food app series so in the previous video what we did is that we implemented the sign up flows right uh, we integrated the backend and now uh, what we will do in this video is that we will integrate navigation so that will basically help us to navigate from one point to another from one screen to another screen so let's just get started okay so to integrate navigation uh, what we need to do is that we need to get over here into the app level gradle file and over here uh, what i'll do is that i'll use something like this now uh, this is basically the normal way and what you can do is that you can add it to the catalog by just uh, doing alt enter and once you do that what you can do is that you can sync it okay so once you sync it uh, what it will do is that it will uh, load a lot of a couple of things and now uh, the next thing that we would do is that we would set up our uh, screens so that it can handle the navigation right now we are just showing a screen based on what we want but now we will implement it properly right so inside this ui let's just add one more package and let's call that package as navigation okay okay so that's done and now uh, what you need to do is that you need to define some sort of routes inside this so i'll get over here again to the navigation packet that i created and then over here inside that you can just create a kotlin class and let's call it nav routes okay uh, basically uh, this is just going to be a file over here uh, what we can do is that one way is the older traditional way where we can uh, define the string routes but we are not going to do that we are basically going to create our own uh, routes uh, the new implementation of our uh, navigation and for that the first thing is basically login and that is going to be simple and then uh, the next thing could be sign up okay so these are the uh, two screens that i i'll have and then the third one can be home so like let's say for now we have these three screens the first thing is that we will be uh, landing on the sign up screen and from that sign up we can uh, navigate to login and then from login we can navigate back to sign up or if we like in both cases if there is any success scenario then we will navigate to home right so that is how uh, i have uh, thought to implement it now when you're using this uh, when you're using this new uh, navigation implementation what you need to do is that you need to implement serialization as well because that is required for this so to implement the serialization again we'll get over here and add this dependencies that we have and uh, we will just replace it with the catalog version that's one thing so once you do that uh, the next thing that you can do is that you can define the uh, serialization plugin so for that you are going to, going to do something like this let's not use this version over here and uh, once you do that uh, let's just go to the app level build.gradle file over here and now over here you can also define the serialization version and now let's just sync it and now once that is done uh, you can get back to your nav routes and now over here what you can do is that you can define serializable something like this okay okay so now we have these routes uh, that are ready and now we'll go to the main activity and as i mentioned that we have something like this which is not recommended uh, because you are just hard coding things now uh, what you need to do over here is the first thing is that you need to define a nav controller okay that controller will basically help us to navigate from one screen to another so that is going to be nav controller and to initialize we will be using remember nav controller for that and now the next thing is that we need to define a nav host okay this nav host is basically uh, something that is important first thing that it takes is a nav controller and the second one is graph but we'll not be using graph we will be using start destination okay and that start destination is going to be the class name uh, that we have for example uh, in our case let's just say sign up okay so that is the class that we have and the next thing is that we can define over here something like this now over here inside this nav host you will define all the screens that you have for example uh we have the sign up screen that is already imp implemented so we will be saying composable and then inside that we will be defining the route route for that right so let's just import that and now inside that you can define your sign up screen like this okay that's one thing 
uh, other one is that we have a auth screen uh, let's say we have a composable composable for login right and for login we don't have anything for now so we'll just create a box or you can keep it like leave it empty as well and let's say there is one more thing and that is composable that is going to be the homes something like this okay so what we did is that we basically define all these uh, values uh, that we wanted uh, just for for understanding what i'm gonna do is that i'll define uh, like i'll give this box a full size right uh, and also i'll add some background let's say add a red color to this for now so that when we navigate we know that which screen we have navigated to and this is going to be green okay and now you can see that we are using sign up for both of them so let's just get over here and go and create one more class right and that class is going to be auth screen okay that's done right okay so we have all these things done and we have the main activity over here we will change that to auth screen and this is complaining because we are not using it so for that we can just add padding and then add the inner padding to that okay so we have pretty much uh, done what we have uh, set up okay and one more thing is that the first screen the start destination is that i want it to be auth screen and once you do that it will be showing the auth screen now uh, all these things with auth screen uh, the thing is that what we want is that we have this uh, buttons that say already have an account and in that case it take us to the login for sign in with email it has this button that that should take us to the uh, sign up screen right so uh, so to do that uh, what we are going to do is that we will be adding the navigation to this so let's just do that so uh, the first thing over here in the auth screen is that i need a navigation a nav controller over here like this okay that is one thing second thing is that i would want all these things okay so nav controller is there and now over here inside this uh, text button that says a login what we can do is that we can say controller dot navigate and then inside that we will define the class name that i basically created over in the nav root right so once we do that this means that now it is going to take the user there for this case since it's going to be a sign up screen so we will change that to sign up okay now we have these things right so now uh, when we are on the sign up screen uh, user can still uh, like user have these uh, buttons so we'll go to the sign up screen as well we go over here and then over here into the sign up screen we also let's say let's take nav controller from there and since this class have a view model I'll try to I'll handle all the uh, navigation through view models right so we have these navigation events set up over here that says in successful case user should be taken somewhere right so now what I'm going to do is that I'll say nav controller dot navigate and this time since I want the user to taken to, to be taken to the home so we'll be using this home okay there is just one more thing uh, that is basically the preview so let's just add these to this and then over here both of them require a nav controller so let's just pass the nav controller to both of them and i think we are pretty much done there is just one more thing that we need to do over here and that that's it okay so now what i'll do is that i'll run the code and uh, we'll see if what we did is actually working right so let's just run the code okay okay so the serialization that we are using is asking the kotlin version to be updated and that can create a couple of issues so what i'm gonna do is that i'll not be doing that in fact what i'll do is that i'll change the version to a slightly lower version so that it can be 
used with Kotlin version. So what I'll do is that I'll get over here and change it to 1.6.3 and try again. Let's see. Hopefully this time it will not be complaining. I hope so. And now let's just run the code. Okay, now you can see that I got this. And now over here, let's try to go to one specific screen. Let's say I click on the login, I get this green screen, which was the login screen. That's let's just go back, click on the sign up email, and it takes me to this sign up screen, which is fine. And now over here, let's create a new account. So let's call it for gone at sorry, let's say this code with fk at gmail.com. Password can be okay now let's click sign up and once it successfully logs in now the problem that i was talking about is that when i click on back it takes me again to the sign up screen but normally in case of a successful sign up it should not be doing that right and uh, when you even click back it takes me this so like these two screens are there which are like not needed once or we already uh, sign in the user right so to get rid of that what we will do is that we will uh remove these uh, screens uh, when basically user have successfully signed up so now over here we'll go to the sign up screen again and now and let's just do one more thing we will say pop up to okay so now the thing is that inside this pop up to you can define where you want to like to which screen do you want to pop up the the like all the previous rows so for that i'm going to use auth screen and once more that I want that included to in the pop-up flow. So like what it will do is that it will go to the navigate, but deep down it will pop up till the auth screen. So it will like in in, in this in the uh, so in its own stack it will try to remove all the screens up to this auth screen. And inclusive true means that it will include this screen as well. So now let's just rerun the code and this time when I create an account and I go to success screen and then go back it will not show me anything in instead it will close the app okay so let's just see what it does okay we'll get over here into sign one sign in and I'll just add some random numbers and then click on sign up and now we have this right so when I click back it will close the app rather it will be uh, like showing me all these things plus okay so that is basically uh, what we wanted for for the navigation and that is uh, a little bit about navigation we will be using navigation in our all the other screen as well okay so so the next thing uh, is that we have one more thing over here like this is again uh, another case for uh, navigation and in this case what I'm gonna do since I'll be using everything as I mentioned that I'll be using everything from uh, from the view model so what I'll do is that I'll click over there and then on login clicked since there is no login click button over there so what you can do is that you can create a new function inside that and what it does is that it will be just navigating the emitting the navigate to login event for you okay and now we'll go back to the sign up screen and inside this navigation section you can do one more thing is that you can add is sign up view model that sign up navigation event dot navigate to login and once you do that you can just do the nav controller navigate to and for that case you are gonna say login okay so that is pretty much what we will be doing and in both cases uh, it should be perfectly fine now let's just run this uh, right and uh, let's say when i go to sign up we have something like this we have this already have a login account when i click on that it takes me there you can go back I can go further back, I can go to the login screen, I can go back and that is pretty much what we wanted right in the next so, so I think that was it for today uh, we have implemented the basic navigation flow in our app in the next video we will be implementing the further features for example we will be implementing the login flows and uh, and then we'll take it from there so thank you so much for watching the video have a great day happy coding bye
I hope you liked the video and if you did please like the video, comment down below and share the video with your friends. For similar content you can subscribe to my channel, you can also follow me on Instagram and if you have any queries you can join my discord server where we discuss different kind of things. So thank you so much for watching the video, have a great day, bye.